Welcome back to the Anglers Extra Pre-Game Show ahead of a game here at Veterans Field against the Brewster Whitecaps. I'm Johnny Wincott, and today's catch of the day is Andre Scrub. Andre, thanks for coming on. Nice sweatshirt also. Thanks. I got it for free from my coach. Andre, first question for you. You've been thrust into the closers role. That's a new role for you. How do you feel in that ninth inning for the Chatham Anglers? Well, you know, as my good friend Jeff says, just throw the, heart, throw the ball hard in the zone. So I've really been sticking to that mentality. I mean, it's... it's Big change, but Jeff's made it pretty easy. Now, does that mean that you need your fastball to be working as your number one pitch in order for you to be striking out batters in the ninth? Um, to strike out batters, yes. Um, when I throw, you know, slower, it tends to get hit more. So, yeah, it definitely needs to be uh, needs to be coming in a little bit. Now, in high school, Andre was also a two-way player. There's a video of you online, actually, in 2013 of you hitting a home run somewhere in Virginia. Is it when you got to college that they made you just strictly a pitcher? Um, I actually got to high point and um, was bugging my coach about hitting, and uh, I missed a hitter's meeting, so became a position player, or a pitcher only. Now, you were taking swings the other day here in Pitcher's BP, and I heard you put a couple over the scoreboard. Have you talked to Schiff, maybe swing the bat a couple of times this year? Um, I actually am not thrilled about facing 90-mile-an-hour pitching, so I actually don't want to hit in the cave. I'm content with just pitching. Would you want to hit against yourself, or are you too scared to hit against yourself? Um... If I saw a kid my size in the box, I'd probably hit him, so I probably wouldn't want to face myself. All right. Now, when I first met you and I saw the back of your car, you had some New York bumper stickers. You got the Rangers, a couple of other teams. Now, you're from Virginia. You go to High Point. How did you become a New York sports fan? Um, well, my dad is, uh, was raised in the Caribbean, you know, and then uh, first state in the States was New York. And was born in 69. So Mets won their first World Series in 69, and that's how I became, like, associated with New York sports. Does that make you a Mets fan then? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a Mets fan. That's too bad. All right, Andre, now it's time for you to show me some glove for your first time. You got three questions inside of your mitt over here. You just got to read them aloud and answer to the best of your ability. <laughs> Question number one. Since you don't like being called Andre the Giant, what would you like your nickname to be? Um, I don't know, maybe Drizzy. Drizzy? Yeah. That, so it's all right if we call you Drizzy on the air? Yeah, Drizzy for sure. All right, so if you hear a Drizzy during the broadcast, it's Andre Scrub. Sounds good. Question two. <laughs> Which MLB player would you compare yourself to? Okay, is this a joke? Uh, but Bartolo Colon, obviously. <laughs> I mean, everyone knows I look like Bartolo Colon. Um, is it because he's a good pitcher or what? Because I'm big and have curly hair and I'm, I'm just big, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, he has a Cy Young Award, so it's not a bad comparison. I mean, I would love to be him but with a little less weight, but oh well. If that's what I have to look like, I'll take it. All right, question three. There's nothing Andre Scrub hates more than, I almost said a bad word, but. Um, Let's keep it PG for the folks out there. Um, I'm going to have to go with Boston Red Sox fans. All right, I can respect that. Yeah. Andre Scrub on Catch of the Day, thanks for coming on. Yeah. Dom, take it away.